So somebody came to me the other day and asked, how do you fund your MetaMask wallet uh, just in a self-contained way without going to Coinbase or Coinbase Pro or Gemini? So I sat down and figured it out. So here you go. So we're, we have two options, uh, and they both start at this point when you want to go and buy ETH. And you hit this buy ETH option, and it gives you two options. One, you can buy with Apple Pay. And two, you can buy with this built-in MetaMask version, right? So this is what you do. Let's take a look at the Apple Pay one. You go into the Apple Pay one, and the fee for Apple Pay is 2.9% of what you're purchasing, plus 30 cents per transaction. You do have a limit of $450 a week, but it looks like per transaction, they only let you do $250. So to me, it's pretty simple. I do $250, then I wait, and then I do the other $150 or $100 I want to do in order to move my money in for this smaller transaction, each time incurring a 2.9% plus $0.30 cent fee per transaction. You get that twice. But it really will be as if you did it once, because 2.9% of 100 and 2.9% of 250 is the same as 2.9% of 350 so I'm not too worried about that. It's just the extra 30 cents if that's really gonna break it for you. The next option is a more MetaMask friendly option. It looks like the fee ends up being about 9% on average if you try it. That limit is $350 that you can do at one time. And this is also not unlike the Apple Pay one funded by debit cards ultimately. And you do have the option to um, choose between both of them. But if you choose this more MetaMask friendly one, and I'm gonna show you exactly why this is MetaMask friendly, because if you click on this plus button here in the transaction, you can see there's a MetaMask fee, which seems to be a working percentage of whatever the amount is. There is a transaction fee, and then there's another fee here. And so those fees add up to be the fee that you pay. So that is how you can move funds into MetaMask from the outside world using your debit card. And this is what it looks like on iOS. Unfortunately, I've only experienced iOS. I don't know what it looks like on Android, but I assume it's something similar. But that's how you transfer funds in. I hope this helps.